Miss Stephanie here for another Teen Thursdays. So today we're going to be making a rainbow wall hanging. So beautiful. And it might look like it's really hard, but it's actually not that hard. Um, if you know how to wrap string, which I'm pretty sure you do, it's very easy. It's just kind of time consuming, unfortunately. So you might not see the entirety of the project in this video, but let's get started, shall we? The supplies you're going to need for this project include some rope or thicker string. You can also use yarn to do that. Um, you're gonna need some scissors. You're gonna need a ruler only if you want to be very precise about your measurements, which is not necessary, but if you want to. Then you're also going to need some embroidery thread. I chose um, the colors of the rainbow because it's going to be a rainbow wall design, but you can choose really any color you want and any number of colors. And you're also going to need some beads. This is my bead collection from home, actually. So, um, I was able to choose some nice ones, but definitely choose a bead that has uh, a big hole that the thread could loop through. Um, and that's all you're going to need. So I started this project ahead of time because it does take a long time and it is kind of repetitive. Um, but it looks really cool when it comes out. So these are my first four strings, red, orange, green, and yellow. And I'm starting out in the video with blue. I have my string right here, and I'm gonna put it under my Storytime felt board, just because it's good to have something to keep the string in place. You could even take a book at home and put a piece of tape on the string and stick it on the book, and that will work too. Um, then I also pre-cut these strings. They're going to be four to six inches uh, long. So you can cut those and then put a double knot on one of the ends with your beads, just like that. And we're gonna start with the blue string now. And the blue string or any of the strings that you use are going to be, I, I put at least, I cut at least two feet of string because it kind of depends on how tight you wrap it, but usually you need at least two feet. Okay, so the first step is to wrap your embroidery thread into a knot. Just one knot is fine. And you're gonna move it up here. Just like that. Then, you're gonna start wrapping. And this just makes things easier to make it longer. You know, the, the wraps could be um, more loose at first, but then you could always tighten it up like that. And it makes things a lot easier.
Okay, so after I've wrapped my uh, string here, this is gonna be the last step you're gonna do. So you gotta get the embroidery thread and remember that bead? Put it through. And then you could also cut the extra just to make it look better. And you might want to cut the top to the other end of it. Okay, so I have all of my colors of the rainbow right and I'm gonna put them through um, this piece of wire that I have but really you can use also string um, you can use a safety pin if you want um, you can really get a little creative with this but it's really just gonna be something that can you can hang on the wall But I do like this wire because it's strong and it's bendable too. That's it for this week's Teen Thursdays. Hopefully you had fun with me this week. We'll see you later, and let me see your rainbow wall hangings in the comments. Bye.